from County College of Morris. This is CCM All Access. Hello, and welcome to CCM All Access, the show that brings you news and information from the County College of Morris. Students at CCM, members of the community, people doing good things. I'm Brenda Todd, and we are coming to you from the Media Center here on the CCM campus. My guest today is Patrick Enright, Dean of the School of Professional Studies and Applied Sciences here at CCM. Dean Enright is back for his second interview with us. Welcome back. Thank you, thanks for having me. So, tell us a little bit about your school. So, so the School of Professional Studies and Applied Sciences includes uh, five academic departments and the Center for Workforce Development. The academic departments are the Business Department, uh, the Engineering Technologies, mm -hmm. Engineering Science Department, which includes criminal, the Criminal Justice Program in it, right. uh, Mathematics, uh, and the uh, Information Technologies Department, which includes computer science and information technologies, and then uh, hospitality management and culinary arts. Right, so these, um, these are programs for students who want to get their associate's degree, move on to a four-year college, for people who want to enhance their workplace skills, right. um, or students getting certificates right. or right. certifications. I, I, right. I, think, I think what characterizes most of the programs in our school is that they connect with the workplace, that right. all of the programs are designed, not all of them, but many of them are designed uh, to, to connect students directly into the workforce. Right. It's true that they'll have a transfer option in many cases, but uh, again, the programs are designed to uh, connect them into the right. workforce. And I know that you were Associate Vice President of the Workforce Development Program. Correct. Here. And um, and we'll talk about that. That's what you wanted okay. to come back and talk mm -hmm. about. Right. Uh, but we'll just recap a little bit on what we talked about in your first interview. And there's so much with mm -hmm. that school that we couldn't possibly get it all in one right. interview. So right. um, so uh, one of the things is I know that we are we do a joint thing with the Morris County Techno School of Technology, Co correct? You're correct. And, and I think there's a lot of focus right now on our engineering programs. Uh, okay. There are three degree programs or four programs, if, depending on how you count them. And one of them, the Mechanical Engineering Technology degree program, has a cohort of high school students from okay. the Morris County School of Technology. Oh, very Those good. students are getting dual credit. They're earning high school credit and college credit at the same right. time. Uh, we call the program uh, the Engineering Design and Advanced Manufacturing Program. And so it's gotten a lot of press. And in fact, the engineering programs have gotten a lot of press because we're o opening up a new facility, we hope, in the spring of 2020. Right. Can you tell us about that facility? Yeah, so, so the facility will be on the CCM's campus. It's mm -hmm. uh, 30,000 square feet, roughly doubling our square footage for labs. What we'll be able to do is add an additional cohort of the high school students. Probably uh, not identical program, but we're mm -hmm. looking at uh, running an electromechanical program, which students might refer to as robotics. So the new facility will have a robotics lab. It'll have a 3D printing lab. We'll have a welding facility. It really is going to give us a, a, mm -hmm. a, a lot more capabilities. Right. Okay. And I know one program that's gaining popularity is the gaming yeah, program, so, correct? Yeah, so the Information Technologies Department, we didn't have much of a chance to talk about right. them the last time. Uh, and again, because a lot of focus with, on the engineering with their new facility, mm -hmm. but Information Technologies is the fastest growing department in uh, the School of Professional Studies and Applied Sciences, okay. driven in part by the computer science degree. So they sure. have uh, four degrees. Let's see if I got that right. They have at least, they have three degrees, uh, computer science, information technologies, and then the game development uh, program. Okay. And the game development program has, y what we've done, and part of the reason for having ch a challenge counting the number of degree programs, is we recently have done a, a total revision of the curriculum over oh, there. Oh, really? Which, was the, uh, which created then the computer science degree, followed by the information technologies degree. Mm -hmm. The game development program has been there for over 15 years. They were actually cutting edge at the time. And uh, as we were revising the other programs, it, we realized it's now time to give more attention back to the game development option. Right. So you had a program that invited our faculty member whose uh, yes. focus is in that area, yes. uh, Professor Guadara. 
Yes, uh, and, a lot and that of, was fascinating. Mm -hmm. I mean, really all-encompassing that you, you can, you know, there's there's so much to learn with that. There, there, there is, and it has a lot of collateral uh, uh, um, impact. In other mm -hmm. words, the students come in with a great passion for uh, game uh, design sure. and development. They're learning a lot of software related to that. Uh, in the end, they may choose to go into another discipline within computer science, right. but right now they've connected their passion to that, right. and it's a right. great industry that's growing, obviously. Absolutely, and mm -hmm. all of these are very industry-related. Mm -hmm. they're, they're skills that, that they can build on in, in, any, in several different facets mm -hmm. of, of the C correct, the and, and, program, and right? you know, there's a lot of art involved. Absolutely. There's theory behind game development itself, yes. as well as the software used to create. Right, right. The I think a lot of people don't really realize they, that. No, no, they don't, and yeah. so it's, a, it's a, a challenging program. But again, the students in the program, and a professor, and, and probably when you met Professor Guadara, you realized. Right. It's a high level of passion for the content absolutely. area. They're gamers at heart, and now they're game creators. Yes, yeah. absolutely, mm -hmm. absolutely. Okay. So um, tell us a little bit then now about the Workforce Development Program. Yeah, so let's talk, we'll talk about our Center for Workforce Development. Okay. We've rebranded it a bit. Uh, uh, we've put in a lot of effort. It's a uh, area of focus for the college. Basically, if you think of the School of Professional Studies and Applied Sciences, think of the workforce. Right. There are certainly programs that are designed to transfer, like computer science, engineering science is designed for transfer, but we have a large base of programs that are intended to plug students into the workforce if that's right. where they choose. About four years ago, uh, the non-credit programs at the college, formerly what we used to call community and professional programs, mm -hmm. were added to the academic division. It's a little unusual to combine the non-credit with the credit side right. of, of, the, of the college, but the intent is to uh, present one face to the community. Absolutely. In other words, uh, our, our, our motto in, in the, workforce, the Center for Workforce Development is that if you're interested in getting a job, you're interested in getting a better job, or you're trying to be more effective in the job that you're in, Mm -hmm. Come to the County College of Morris. Right. Come for the come to the Center of Workforce Development. We can connect you with careers in all sorts of areas. Right. And uh, so one of the focus, uh, the uh, directions that the center has taken is to uh, align the courses that we're teaching with industry certifications. Mm -hmm. And just to give you an example of that would be uh, Microsoft Office certifications. Microsoft for years and years has been offering certifications in their Microsoft Office package. Right. So Microsoft Office includes Outlook, PowerPoint, Excel, Microsoft Word. And in every office, I mean, not every office, but Microsoft owns a good, good piece of, good percentage of the, the office uh, technology in the country. Mm -hmm. And so when you're looking for jobs, very often if you look at a job ad, you know, you know they'll have very specific uh, knowledge that they want for their industry, right. but there's almost always at the end they add knowledge about of Microsoft Office required sure. or, or uh, encouraged. And so uh, a big so in the Center for Workforce Development, we teach Microsoft Office all of the right. packages. But we do more than just teach them. We prepare students to sit for the Microsoft exam, mm -hmm. so that when they complete the uh, the course, they're going to sit for this exam and they can add to the resume that they're a Microsoft Office specialist wow. in yeah, Excel fantastic. or Microsoft Word. Yeah. That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. So you also have resume building? Um, we, we do. We're trying to create the entire package. Right. In other words, like I said, if, if someone's looking to get a job or get a better right. job, you know, a big part of that is getting ready for to write a resume to right. understand resume writing in the digital age. Absolutely. You know, if, if I had to write a resume now <clears throat> and post it electronically, realizing that it's going to get assessed by right. a computer right. before it gets to anyone, you know, that I, I wouldn't be ready for it. I'd have to take a class. Mm -hmm. In other words, it's a skill to know how to write a resume that's going to be reviewed in that fashion. Right. So we run classes on that. Uh, we run networking classes. Neighbor to neighbor uh, is uh, uh, where, where uh, groups of folks that are trying to uh, angle themselves in the employment market, get together and share strategies and oh, share experiences. Mm -hmm. So we're trying to be the entire package. Mm -hmm. uh, part of that is delivering programs or directing individuals to programs that we know have a job on the other end of them. Right. And that includes uh, programs on the academic side. So it's not just non-credit programs. I mentioned the Microsoft Office mm -hmm. series aligned with a third party credential. Mm -hmm. But we also offer a, a course in QuickBooks. That's really, okay. that's very popular. You know, most of the businesses in the country, and it's true in Morris County, are small businesses. Sure. And so they're doing their own 
accounting, their mm -hmm. own bookkeeping. And so it's pretty popular for people to right. come back and try to learn QuickBooks. We have a, a course associated with it that's an accounting course. The point behind QuickBooks is there's also an industry certification for QuickBooks. Right. You can be certified in QuickBooks and our curriculum aligns with that. Mm -hmm. But it, you can also take a course on the credit side called computerized accounting okay. that also aligns with the same third party credential. So we right. can have people uh, approaching the workforce, workforce training from a lot of different directions. Wow. Mm -hmm. Well, very good. Very mm -hmm. excited to come back and mm -hmm. talk to you some more. We're going to take a quick break um, and we'll be right back. Not all County College of Morris students look like me. Some look like me. Or me. Or me. Or me. We all come to CCM at different stages of life and for different reasons. I plan to transfer to a university. I'm training for a new career as a nurse. But we all know one thing. CCM is where we want to be. So check out the website. Check out the website. Check out the website. And let CCM connect learning and your life. And we're back at CCM All Access. Dean Enright, let's talk about the employment market here in Morris County. Yes, so it's really important if we're going to be offering programs that mm -hmm. uh, we're telling people are going to help them get a job or get a better job, right. that we have an idea of what's happening in the employment market in Morris Absolutely. County. And there, there are a number of different ways to do that. Uh, like we can probe into job titles. So for example, in engineering, uh, uh, maybe we're looking, we're looking under the job title production tech. And we have uh, a software that drills down into Morris County. We can expand it to Morris, Warren, Sussex, just for example. There's nat national data as well. So a lot of times we'll probe by uh, a job title. Um, uh, mechanical tech, machining tech would be another job title. Uh, in the IT area, you'd have computer technician or network technician okay. that would align with a lot of uh, our, our programming, just for example. So uh, the other thing that we can do is look at globally. Uh, the Morris Warren Sussex um, Workforce Development Board also has a website uh, where they publish a report quarterly. And they contract with a company called Burning Glass Technologies. And Burning Glass Technologies goes into the job ads in Morris County actually Morris Warren Sussex County, and scrapes them. And what they scrape them for is information as to what employers are looking for. Mm -hmm. So every quarter, uh, the Workforce Development Board for Morris Warren Sussex County will publish uh, the data from Burning Glass Technologies and they'll list, for example, or I like to announce usually, what the top three skill sets are right. uh, uh, for what, what companies are looking for, or the most frequently mentioned mm -hmm. skills. And uh, top top three, quarter after quarter, Microsoft Office. Okay. If they don't mention Microsoft Office, they mention Excel in particular. Mm -hmm. uh, second, project management. And third, customer service. Now those sometimes flip-flop in their position, right. and sometimes one falls to fourth, but uh, what we want to be able to know then is, are we offering programming that aligns with that right. list? Are we offering programs that lead to positions that we know are family supporting wages, right. that are family supporting wages and right are there. jobs with uh, health benefits, just for example. Yes. So that, that's a key element uh, of what we do. And uh, so for example, let's take those top three. Mm -hmm. uh, project management. So on the non-credit side, we offer a project management program. And as I mentioned, our philosophy is to always align with a third party credential if it, if it exists. Mm -hmm. and Project Management, Project Management Institute is famous for uh, sponsoring the PMP certification. You can also get it. PMP re certification requires a bachelor's degree and mm -hmm. some experience, but you can also get uh, um, a certification from the Project Management Institute with just a high school degree, just oh, really? for a high school okay. diploma, just mm -hmm. for example. So uh, that's a program that we can honestly say when people. Uh, come to the college for information and want to know, well, what do you think I should put up, get on my resume that I don't have now? What I would say, two things that I would say right off the top. If you don't have certifications in Microsoft Office, get them. Mm -hmm. And if, if you can't decide which ones you want to get, then get Excel. And if you can get uh, a multiple layers, levels of Excel, you should do that. I told my own daughter is getting ready to graduate from college. 
and, and I've told her to take the Excel class and get sure. Microsoft Office certified mm -hmm. in Excel. It's a skill required across industries. The other I would tell them to do is get uh, go through the project management program. Again, because we know it's very frequently asked for in jobs across industries. So go ahead and take that class and get that added to their resume. Again, these are people often with degrees already. They may have a college right. degree that's 15 years old and they're just trying to uh, update their resume or get skills that are current. And right. those are skills that you still leave your degree on your resume, mm -hmm. but on the resume also are a specific training that leads to certifications. Right. So. Now, you have business administration is obviously a very big one, but then you also have hospitality and public safety, right? We, we do indeed. So mm -hmm. for, hospitality is another good example of a uh, area. Hospitality industry is very large in Morris County. It's mm -hmm. very large across the country. It's one of the industries projected to grow, uh, 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 one of the fastest growing industries oh, really? across the country. So it's uh, there, there's a, if someone is looking to get into a career long term, mm -hmm. hospitality industry is a great place okay. to start. So how do you get started? Well, you can do an associate's degree in mm -hmm. hospitality management. Our hospitality management degree, as part of it, uh, students get industry certifications okay. along with it. There are, man there are uh, certifications that are sponsored by the NRAEF, the National Restaurant Association Education Foundation, mm -hmm. uh, that are independent. So our students are taking courses here, they get grades in their courses, pursuing the degree, but along the way they're also getting these industry certifications. Right. An individual who doesn't want to do a degree can also take training just to get those certifications. What the certifications will do is be an entree into the industry for sure. them. And I'll tell you a little bit about the hospitality industry because mm -hmm. it's a bit different than others in the sense that uh, when you come out with your degree, everybody starts at the bottom. Right. In other words, so initially, sometimes the job doesn't look like a great position because right. the pay is low. But I'll give you, an, one of our graduates out of our hospitality management program came out, started at the bottom, front desk, working tough hours, sometimes in, you know, late, late night, yeah, there's always sure. somebody at the front desk. Six months later, she was in charge of housekeeping for the hotel, which is a much better paying job. Right. And I would just highlight, these are jobs with benefits. Right. These are jobs not jobs not only with health benefits but with uh, education benefits mm -hmm. that they'll fund you to go on for, for more education. Oh, very good. So it's a great industry, lots of jobs, we have good connections in the industry mm -hmm. and you can take programs for credit or for non-credit. So if you already have a degree and you're trying to find a new industry, you're trying to break into something, hospitality industry is a great mm -hmm. one. So that's a, another uh, example of programming that crosses right. over credit or non-credit. Right. Because a lot of uh, companies, I, they don't care if it's credit or non-credit, sure. they just want to know, and we hear this often, when you show up on Monday, the first day of your job, what, what can you do? Yes. Not being right. able what to do skills? something Absolutely. doesn't work for them. Absolutely. And I think that's what the third party credentials right. uh, add. If you were going to break, uh, hit a couple of industries there, hospitality, broad industries, project management, mm -hmm. Uh, uh, but in IT, we, we didn't hit IT uh, very heavily. Sure. We talked a little bit about the game yes. development option. We have a degree in information technologies. On the non-credit side, if someone came, again, someone's looking to get a job or get a better job mm -hmm. or be more effective in the job they're in, uh, you know, and they came to an information session and asked, well, how do I get into the IT industry? Well, certainly you can do the degree. Here's right. the information technologies degree, mm -hmm. but very often with adults, someone who's in their 30s and trying to career change, for example, they don't have time to do a whole degree. Mm -hmm. And so want to know, well, what would I do quickly to start in the industry? Sure. Answer is we have professional programs in the Center for Workforce Development. You would do the A-plus certification. Okay. The A-plus certification, it's a third-party credential sponsored by CompTIA. Mm -hmm. And I, I tell them, you don't have to believe me, go online, search the job title computer mm -hmm. technician, and see how often that job title, whether the employers are asking for the A-plus certification. It's the, it's the standard entry-level certification. Mm -hmm. In our degree program, in fact, students that are working on their degree after about four courses, they would actually have the information necessary to sit for the A-plus exam. Okay. And we're starting to encourage them to do that. The college degree it, with industry certifications makes them just that much more mm -hmm. strong, stronger a, a candidate. And again, it comes to what those industry certifications tell the employer is when I show up on Monday, the first day of work, sure. 
I can do those things. Right. So they they do that in conjunction with their base, you know, reading, writing, and arithmetic, right? right. So they, they also, how long does the certification itself take? Yeah, so, so uh, the A-plus certification is two courses on the non-credit side, and I think they're uh, five or six weeks each. So, okay. so in, it's in 10 weeks, you're done, you're ready to sit wow. for the test. Now, I'm not saying you just sit, you know, there's study that goes along sure. with it. The tests themselves can be challenging, mm -hmm. but that's why they're a valued industry credential because right. the industry knows, y you know, you didn't just read a book and, and go in and do it. Right. And uh, so those are short term. It gets them into the job market quickly. Can they do more? Right. If they complete the A plus and they get into the industry, there are more industry certifications that they can complete. Right. Right. Like there's a networking, uh, a computer networking certification they can complete. We offer it. We also offer on the credit side, it's part of our degree program. So there's a lot of ways uh, that we help people enter the, the workforce, one through the degrees and the other through these third party certifications. And they shouldn't be thought of as uh, um, one or the other. Mm -hmm. right. What I like to say to people is do both. Right. And, sure. and telling you about, uh, if I can go on just a little bit more yes, about absolutely. industry certifications, I'm a bit of a fan, yeah, I'm a bit of a, a, a proponent of them. Yeah. If someone is majoring in English, and again, mm -hmm. that's not in liberal arts, but someday they're going to be looking for a job. Sure. And again, the question is from the employer on the first day of work, what, what can you do? Absolutely. And there's no reason that uh, a liberal arts major, for example, as part of their uh, work at the college, can't sit for a Microsoft Office right. certification exam. Right of a story of a, a student aide that I had some years ago who was a communications major mm -hmm. and uh, went on and transferred. I think she went to, uh, oh, I, it'll come to me, but it was a, a college in, in New York State, a pretty well-known, Ithaca College okay. in New York State. It's pretty well-known. Mm -hmm. And uh, she was a very strong student. She was great. I got a call from her when she was graduating from Ithaca College. And uh, what she was doing was she was taking a class in Microsoft Excel to get okay, certified sure. because the employers were looking for evidence that she knew Microsoft mm -hmm. Excel. She was in, uh, going into advertising and marketing. What, how okay. does Excel figure there? It's all about data. Sure. In other words, you, you, mm -hmm. you, did, you ran Absolutely. the ad, how many people saw it, what right. did they think about right. it, what's the demographics right. involved. All of that right. can be you know, analyzed to some degree in Excel. Yep. And I think that's you know, part of the message we're trying to get out is, Getting a, a broad-based general education, liberal arts education, it's right. not mutually exclusive from developing Absolutely. specific Absolutely. employable skills. Absolutely. And a woman at an information session, we do information sessions mm -hmm. where we talk oh, about the job market. Okay. You know, how many job openings there are, what's the entry salary, mm -hmm. what's the median salary. Mm -hmm. In other words, what can you expect sure, after a year sure. or two if you're effective in the position. And so I had a woman that came to one of them, and I, I'm going to guess that she was late 30s, uh, mm -hmm. uh, maybe, maybe early 40s. And she uh, had been out of the job market for a, a while and was trying to get back in. And, and uh, she was at the session on information technologies. Mm -hmm. And uh, she raised her hand and said, yeah, but how is an English literature degree going to help me here? Right. And the answer is an English literature degree tells them something. You can read complicated materials mm -hmm. and interpret them. Your uh, writing skills are probably incredibly strong, mm -hmm. which, is, which is something that you don't, you hear about as a problem often uh, from uh, companies. Okay. But if you add the A-plus certification, what the A-plus certification does, what the industry certification does, is give you an entree into that industry. Yes. All of those skills that you learned in the liberal arts in English literature, then you can bring them right. to bear. Because what's right. going to happen is you're going to be working in a team. You're, right. you're going to be reading complicated materials. Mm -hmm. you'll, you'll, all of those skills will pay off. Exactly. But of course, the industry wants to know when you show up on right. Monday. What you're bringing to the table. What, what can you, what yeah. can you do for them? Exactly. Me? Right. Now, I know one of the newer uh, programs you have is the fire safety with public service. Yes. Yeah, right? so, so we have a criminal justice degree, uh, and we also have a fire science degree. Mm -hmm. Our hope fire is science. to broaden that, uh, um, those two degrees to inc include sort of a public safety uh, uh, area, okay. first responder area, okay. EMT, uh, health and natural sciences is, is working on uh, starting a paramedic program okay. that I understand uh, uh, may be up and running f uh, with the fall semester, oh, which wow. is pretty exciting. Yes. And what we want to do is, is own that space, I mm -hmm. guess, that educational space. The job market in, in uh, public safety is broad. It's yes. not super complicated, but it, um, 
you need to understand it. Uh, uh, there's different ways to enter it. It's not like trying to get into the IT industry, for example, right. or trying to get into manu the manufacturing industry. It's a very uh, um, what, what's uh, carefully constructed area. There's yes. uh, probation. There's uh, uh, corrections. There's being a police officer, mm -hmm. parole officer, and uh, all of those are separate. Have separate en separate entry entry right. points. And right. so what we're trying, and fire science is a, another good example where there are volunteer um, uh, agencies, but then there are um, paying agencies. Mm -hmm. there's, uh, there's services that are civil service. In other words, the entry point is through a right. civil service examination as opposed to uh, not just right. open co uh, competition. Right. So we're trying to understand that a little bit more and own sure. the entire space because again, when we have someone who comes to an information session we, we want to give them realistic information. I mean, if you want to be a police officer, just right. for example, it's a pretty tight market. Mm -hmm. uh, um, you know, with, with uh, the economy being as it is, uh, agencies are squeezed uh, for mm -hmm. money and therefore mm -hmm. hiring is tight. Uh, the jobs are highly valued. So a lot of, you know, there's a lot of competition. Right. That doesn't mean that you can't get into the public safety industry. Right. There's even private uh, security that, um, is, a, is an industry in itself. Mm -hmm. So I think that, uh, again, what we're trying to do is broaden our uh, ability to place people Absolutely. into those different uh, uh, areas. So um, I imagine there's a wide range of students from what you're talking about, wide yes, range of ages is. and um, sure. focuses. Right. And, and I think on the wor in the Center for Workforce Development, we see a lot more mm -hmm. diversity. And, and very often, uh, folks that are employed, just for example, on the, in the Center for Workforce Development, we also do training for people that are employed. Okay. Companies will send their employees for training. Uh, we have grant funding from the state. Very often, that's no cost to the employer. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, the employees are getting uh, additional skills to bring back. And you won't be surprised to learn one of the most popular courses in that area uh, for incumbent people that are uh, being sent by their companies is Excel. Sure. And, and customer right. service uh, uh, skills. Yeah. What, why? Because, again, I mentioned it's the top three in job positions. Yes. So, uh, so we do that as well. Uh, so typically the demographic that we're seeing are, are people that are past the 18 to 22 year old mm -hmm. range and span really from 23 years old, 23 years old uh, up into their late 50s, early mm -hmm. 60s. People mm -hmm. are staying in the job market longer, right. want to stay in the job right. market. Some people have always wanted to do something different, sure. and uh, we, we've got the portals for doing that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. Thank you so sure. much, and what a wonderful program we have here. What thank a great school it, it is. is. And it you're is. the dean. Yeah. That's thank fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Brenda. Anyway, thank you, and um, maybe we'll have you back. Oh, that'll be great. I, think I have a, a lot third, more. I, I think a third interview. I have a lot more to week. talk about, <laughs> and, I, and it makes the other deans jealous no, that I, if I'm back, back three course, times. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> well, that's all for today. We would also like to thank the students from Mount Olive High School who are serving on the crew today. This has been another edition of CCM All Access. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.